classically, the first cellular therapies that were used were actually used in CLL. And we actually saw some nice articles written recently about these three patients who received CAR-T for their CLL uh, back about 10 years ago. Um, unfortunately, uh, the use of CAR-T for CLL um, hadn't really panned out over the last 10 years, where we were seeing some uh, just not great overall response rates for patients with CLL. It's likely due to CLL-induced immune dysfunction. Um, specifically for T cells, we see a lot of um, exhaustive exhaustion markers for T cells in patients um, who have CLL. Um, but there has been some recent breakthroughs. Uh, for one, there's the Transcend study, which looked at the CAR-T product Lysocell, um, and it used Lysocell as a monotherapy plus Lysocell plus Ibrutinib. Um, and in recent studies, there has been shown that patients who are treated with Ibrutinib, the BTK inhibitor, um, there's some reversal in that T cell exhaustion, um, leading to improved um, CAR-T cells, um, CAR-T expansion, and potentially a decrease in side effects induced by CAR-T. So that um, is a we're excited to see how Lysocell does for patients with CLL. Um, there is a trial that's currently open with BMS that's using the anti-ROR1 CAR-T, which we're looking forward to seeing as well. Um, and there's some various other trials um, throughout the country. There's one at OSU that's combining the anti-CD19, 20, and 22 CAR-T for CLL, amongst other uh, lymphomas and B-cell malignancies. So I think that the story around CAR-T for CLL is still to be told, um, but there is uh, some development um, and we're looking forward to see how Lysocell does um, moving forward. In terms of Richter's transformation, um, we at OSU published our data of our nine patients who received CAR T-cell therapy for Richter's transformation. Um, the majority of these patients had received concurrent BTK inhibitor, um, usually a brutinib, and there was a couple of acalabrutinibs there as well. Um, and we are now uh, looking to publish our long-term findings of 14 patients treated with Axacel, and we are excited to say that it still looks like it works. Um, but really, that's retrospective data. This is really selected patients who were able to get CAR T. They're needs to be prospective um, trials run for patients with Richter's transformation. Um, there is uh, now uh, two trials that I know of that are available for patients, well, one that's in the pipeline, um, one that's um, being opened. One is going to be the Brexacel product um, through KITE um, that includes, uh, it's a basket trial for rare diseases that includes Richter's transformation, hairy cell leukemia, um, Burkitt's lymphoma. And then um, I have an investigator initiated trial that's going to combine Xanabrutinib plus Lysocell for CAR for, for Richter's transformation as well. So I think that um, the availability of cellular therapies uh, for Richter's transformation um, is coming, and uh, we are excited to see where this story goes as well.